Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. Well, last time we uh, saved the Emerald Grove from a whole bunch of goblins, and I think it's time to reap those benefits. I haven't played in quite some time. The last time I played Baldur's Gate was the last stream, so uh, let's just pick up right where we left off then. There's just this this one moment in Act Two that I'm still upset at Baldur's Gate for, and I haven't I haven't done more. I really should though. I've been busy this I've been busy lately though. I haven't had enough time. Maybe I'll find some time here in the next couple of days or so. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see. But that's later. For now, we've got Z the Adventures of Zella Star to continue. Who is still wallowing away in Act One. Right. So I think ev about everybody's ready to uh, set off. I, mean, I don't think there's really too much left we can do here, right? I mean, everybody's happy. Everybody did their thing. Uh, hello? My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. You're a scary man. I don't think I what like you. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. Huh? The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. How could a mouse then and a fox? Down came the claw, and that love was that. <laughs> well, they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Uh... Am I talking to the mouse or the cat? Neither. The fox, rather. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer about to break the silence. Well, you're talking to the of mongoose course. who doesn't know what the hell I is going on! I some privacy, as well as some more... Let's call it... Refinement. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. I just came up from a city from like. Come. I, I mean, it's not. Ah, crap! Oh. There, middle of somewhere. Nice decor. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. What makes you say that? Call it a ninth sense. Nine senses? Whoa! It's the devil! Great. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Clever. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary. Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Uh, why would you help me? Because my compassion is boundless. I stride among the needy, giving comfort where I can. And you're in dire need. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I'm, 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 I'm kind of working with that as I go like along. That. I, I need to think this over. I mean, I'm, I'm still kind of coming to terms with this. Make a deal with the devil is probably way low on the Take list. But yeah, 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 I'm glad you... 
Why do you not approve, Asterion? I mean, I'm glad you don't disapprove, but he's like, oh, I don't care. Make a deal or not. Doesn't matter to me. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Buddy, I'm a monk. I'm almost a holy man. I, 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 I think I have enough strong mental fortitude to resist the urges of the devil's promise. And, uh... Well, and if I do want to take this deal just to keep things amicable, how, how would I find you? I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy brain. Oh, kind of like what I got All going. <laughs> right. Hey, right? Yeah. Sundering skin, dissolving guts. They haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say you're a paragon of luck. Now I got like about I'll eight guardian there. angels watching over when me. It runs out. Well, cool. Right. So that was something. Let's do a little bit more exploring around the Emerald Grove. Hello, Dark Slayer. Didn't miss much. We just uh, almost made a deal with the devil. Uh, opened up the potential. For a, uh, for a devil to make a deal with us to get the tadpole out of our head. Very tempting, but I'm gonna have to politely decline on this one, I have to say. Yeah. Alright. Hello, bear. I know most of you really aren't bears here, but... Can I even talk to you? Oh. Oh, you just... You just I guess when you turn into a bear, you just, uh... Just kind of ignore everybody else. What's all down here? A secluded cove? What are you guys hiding back here? Uh... Who... Who is... Who is attack... Oh, these guys? Is that a harpy? They got they got harpies up in here. Oh. Well, that ain't good. All right. Let's get this going. Sneak attack. You can't. Well, I mean, we got disadvantage because they're really far away. So let's just go ahead and see if we can't take them out the old-fashioned way. Go for it. Nice. What now? Getting in that water is going to be quite difficult, so what I'm going to have you do, uh, Zelastar, is me. hop on up here. We can do a ranged attack, perhaps. I keep wanting to zoom out with the trick. Stop. Stop. Okay. I've still got a hella disadvantage. Well, Let's get still going to go for it. Nah, that's, that's all right. All right, I'd rather have you guys come to me anyway. I'd do better with melee anyway. Uh, d don't do it to my range, guys, uh, and don't just hide all those motherfuckers. Well, all right, Gale. I'd have you come up here, then. Let's see. Really need that long rest, because we're kind of running out of that stuff. That's all right. A lot of stuff is out of your reach at the moment. Huh. They're all over here. You know what? Why don't you just hang here for now, then? Shadowheart! I'd like you to... You can't summon spiritual weapon. Damn it, I'm running out of everything. I should have taken the long rest when I had the chance. Damn it. Alright. Can you firebolt something at least? Probably fucking not. Well, 50-50 shot! <laughs> that hit! And that did great damage, too. Well done. Good job. All right, they're coming down here, which is good. Shriek. I'll rip out your throat. Oh. Well, all right. 
Okay, Asterion, can you uh, sneak attack this fella? Lady thing? Ooh! Oh, not quite. Wait, maybe we can get the offhand though. Damn it! Oh, critical miss! Survival is all that matters. Oh well. That's fine, that's fine. Well, maybe Zealous Star can uh, take a shot at this guy. Yeah! Luring song. Oh no, Gale! He's lured! We gotta do something about that. Definitely. Shadow Heart hit him. Thank you, hon. And at least you can hit stuff that's right in front of your face. That's all I could ask for. Alright, so Sterian is, uh... Not lured by the song. Come to your own conclusions about that, I suppose. What can we do for sneak attack? It's interrupted. Probably got a bit of a terrain problem too if we try to go out in the water here. All right. If you can jump this Celestar, that's too high and too far. That's too bad. All right. Can you not? Wait, I'm still in Asterion? What happened? Time to push my luck again. I don't know how I wound up with Asterion again, but that's okay. Range attack. Take care of that. Not bad. Stop singing. Or at least she resisted the song. Now kill her. Good. Well done. Can you firebolt this thing? Do nine damage? Okay. L at least you hit. That's fine. All right. And finish it off. Well done. Good job, everybody. These ladies don't really have anything. Really? That's disappointing. They had nothing. Unbelievable. Absolutely nothing. Oh, they had one gold and a bone. Hey, at least they threw me a bone. <laughs> Alright. We really shouldn't explore too much further, but what else we got going on around here? A weird... Holding a blood around here. A rib cage? What the hell happened here? Huh. How far up does this go? Well, let's double back over to Emerald Grove then. Is there anywhere? I'm pretty like gone over here, but nah, I don't want to explore too far. The amount of spell slots. I need. I, I I need to rest. Anything up here? No, I already went up here. Lovely little little area around here, though. So many intricate flowers. So nice. Alright. Well, you druids are boring folk. Not really doing much. Like, is this bear gonna talk to me? Or are y'all just too snooty? Okay, you're gonna moan at me, and that's it. Seems like there's a whole lot here, otherwise. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. This place is lame. Beautiful, but... It's very, very, uh... Kind of dry around here. Very stuffy. I mean, you guys almost killed a child on... Almost nothing. 
If it weren't for me, you would have had a dead child on your hands, and that would have just been awful. All right, let's get out of here. We go find their head honcho, and we can make camp for the night. This guy's still here. You're just going to keep being a strange ox, then. You do you, I suppose. All right, folks. Pack it up. Pack it in. We're getting out of here. Load everything properly. We're leaving. Where's your where, where's your main guy at? Thought I just saw him. Is he up there? He's usually up there. There he is. Zevlar, I keep forgetting your name. We're ready to head to your camp. Are you? Yep, let's go there right away. Excellent. Lead the way. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump, and a leap this way, and a roll over here, and here we are. I don't wear shirts when I'm in camp. I hope nobody is offended. <laughs> All right, uh, everyone seems to have allowed themselves into my camp. I mean, I, I wanted to show, right, show everybody. I didn't think they'd be, you know, with us for the whole thing. That's, that's okay. How you doing, Shadowheart? Everyone seems to be in high spirits. I suppose so. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Uh... D uh... D refugees? Exactly right. Uh, oh. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Not so odd. We did the right thing. That's more easily said by some than others. We killed goblins! What's so wrong about that? Right from wrong? <sighs> Shadowheart trails off and glances around at the party. She turns back to you, mildly surprised you're still there. I thought you might have wanted to mingle with the others. Well, there'll be time for that later. True, but I thought you might not want to linger with me. We haven't always seen eye to eye, after all. Besides, I'm sure there's plenty of people who'll be keen to celebrate most thoroughly with you. E uh, 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 well, in that case, I'll leave you to enjoy your evening. Uh, Have fun, and don't be a stranger. So we've, if we've been doing well for this playthrough, maybe somebody will give us a little bit of some t some tender, loving touching? There's a couple of people that have exclamation marks around here. It seems to be just one, and it's just him. Well, maybe we'll find somebody, who knows. Uh, Asterion, what are you thinking? You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Oh, yeah? I thought I'd be the one they toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here. Yeah. I hate it. This is awful. It's not all that bad. Think of all the goblins you killed. True. That was fun. Right. Still. And, and people like applaud you for it, so. A pat on their head and vinegar for wine. Oh, how bad can it be? Let me try some of that wine, if you don't mind. It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Awful. <laughs> All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? <clears throat> and what's your idea of uh, <clears throat> a little fun? By the hells. Sex, my dear. A night of passion. But we're a monk. Aren't we supposed to be celibate? So with you. Just to be clear. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> Ugh, no. D it, what, is, it anyway, is it because it's me, or is it because I'm a dragonborn, sure or else what is it about me you don't like, or is it? Are you just being foppish and prudy, or whatever? 
Yeah, whatever. I imagine we'll get somebody into our pants at some point. If that was if that was our goal, which it isn't, which it isn't. In just a moment. All right, Zevlar, what do you got to say? You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without. But yeah, Zelostar is is the uh, the you. the chaperone of the place. It's like no holding hands, no public displays of affection. Hey, you, d you get away from her. I, I hope you're keeping your tent flaps open, people. Two tiefling queens. Frightful. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. Uh, uh, okay. I'm, I, I, I thought you might care to have a drink with me. In truth, I rarely imbibe. The stuff goes right to my head. Before you know it, I'd be breaking into song or declaring love to the first person I laid eyes on. So, uh, to, uh, to... we'll talk another time. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. Oh, well, if there's anything like I have, they're gonna stay thirsty. What do you want? Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. To many more, yes. Uh, what have you got to say, Volo? Yes, my friend? You got an exclamation mark. You need something? I was just something? settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> How did you find the camp? Finding is my job, my friend. If there's anything in the world worth knowing, I assure you. I do. Good to know. I'll t okay, bye. Is this all you hear about? Man. Does anybody want to spend the night with me? How about you, Gale? Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, what for? I'm glad you sought me out. Amidst all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. I was hoping you'd spare me a moment. There was something rather magical I wish to show you. Don't show me your penis. Is that the wine talking? As they say in Waterdeep, in wine there is truth. Uh -huh. That's usually followed by, in water there is good sense. <laughs> I promise you, my offer is a perfectly sober one. So, what do you say? Uh, I like the sound of magical. What do you have planned? A lesson. Hello, Sims Mage. Trust me when I say few have experienced the pleasure I offer to teach. However, it's something best experienced in more intimate surrounds. Once the revelry has ended and the stillness of the night has been restored. <laughs> For now, please enjoy the celebration. When it is done, I will show you all. Mm hmm. That's good you're playing Cult of the Lamb Sims Mage. The uh, Sins of the Flesh update just went live. And I got a feeling that if we're not careful, we're going to imbibe in some Sins of the Flesh ourselves. <laughs> I need to dance. No. No, I need to lie down. Okay, you lie down then. Shari! That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turn it. Well, turnips to your health. Why, what did I do? Is this a bad thing Gail's gonna show us? Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you. And behold! Whoa, he made lights. Yeah. <laughs> Adoring applause. You're too kind. But why? Well, I mean, I mean, I can't do that. Cast that. They grow up so fast. I, I can't do that kind of cool stuff. I gotta wear a special lights. amulet to have any lights now, appear. Pass the wine. All right. Uh. There's really nothing else here. You guys have rejects with no, with nobody to love. 
Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. You shouldn't join them. Have a pint or two. You can roll a six or more. Right, buddy? Okay, there you go. Come on. Convince someone to drink. Shouldn't be that hard, right? Hmm. Perhaps it'll make the evening more tolerable. Dad, a boy. Go on. Yeah, have a little fun. Live a little. All right, Guex. Think of it. No more caves. No more tents. No more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. And home road markets. Oh, hi, Withers. Do you want to join in the festivities? Hast thou seen the futility of thy actions? Sorry, it's a bit quick on the draw there. An apology to one such as myself is but empty air. Uh, air nonetheless, Dost though. Do need my services? That's fine. You're you're okay. Oh, is there really nothing else for us here? Everyone's either drinking or just doing their own stuff. They got nothing to do here, really. Anything back here? What are you doing? You came through for us. That's a change from most adults I know. Uh, that sounded dangerously close to a compliment. And that Sounds like the wine drowning your wits. Go on, enjoy yourself. I've squirreled away a few extra bottles. With the barrels tapped out, I'll be there to save the night. For a price, of course. Aha! Uh -huh. Ingenious. That's smart, kid. You do you. Well, uh, this glowing portal is how you change your appearance. It doesn't go to a magical dimension like I thought it was. The first time I saw it. Hey, uh, well, I think we're done here. Nobody wants to sleep with us. We haven't really impressed anybody enough to have uh, a night of passion or anything like that. So I guess we'll just go to bed. The buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There Dragon sleepy, everyone go home. Dark. Who will you seek? Okay, it's just Gale. Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? What are we gonna, what, what, what have you got here, man? Oh wow, it's a lady. You made a lady. Who's that? Oh. My. You startled me. I, uh... It's miles away. Is everything alright? Of course. Of course. I was just... practicing an incantation. There's more to it than that. The figure I saw, she means something to you. It's a plus six! The only way I can fuck this up is if I roll a one. And watch it happen. Uh. So, yeah, that was a 13 and all. But the thing about a 13 is that it is very close to a one. So that what so the what in my heart, that was almost a one. She does. And 13's a bad number anyway. She's, she's Mistra. I can't quite describe it. The need. I sometimes feel to see her. To draw the filaments of fantasy into existence. No sculpture or painting could ever do her justice. Only the fabric that she herself is. That embodies. So what, you're attracted to a shawl? Mistra is a weave, magic. okay. But as far as I'm concerned, she is all creation. I didn't realize the depth of your devotion. Magic is... my life. I've been in touch with the weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, 
all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. That is why Sounds I radical, you man. To, out, to offer you a taste of such wonders. Would you like me to show you? I mean, he's really eager about it. I feel like I'd hurt his feelings if I say no, you know, call me out here in the middle of the night, you know, to talk about his greatest passion in life, and for me to say, nah, no thanks, I'd rather not see what you care most about anything. Uh, that, that, that'd be a dick move. I can't do that. So show me... And follow my lead. Uh, yeah, of course he liked that. Of course he would. But I get to say the safe word, okay? Oh wow, a light. Cool. Now you. Uh. Uh. D hmm. Let's let's go slide a hand with this. Come on, two or higher. Let's go. All right, good, easy. Dirty twenty. Cool. Wha? Here. Hey! Hua! Hey! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright! You feel something strange. Like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athra Mistra Ril Kantrak Eo. Uh. Hmm. Actually, I'm done. Safe word. Safe word. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's uh, let's do things uh, deliberately. Let's speak them deliberately. This is something that we can't we can't flub on. All right. Again, just don't roll a one. Don't roll a one. All right. Fourteen. Good. Another dirty twenty. Easy. Suddenly, the scent of rose water and a sense of well-being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Very mm. good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony. As true as you can. All right. History, nature, insider performance. Hmm. Okay, we can think of the here and now. This unexpected moment of learning. That's not. I mean, right now with Gale, I don't. I mean, this isn't really harmony right now. Pe utter peace, away from all harm in the may. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's gonna be it. Picture a place of utter peace, away from all harm and the mayhem of self civilization. All right, we can do this. Three or higher, right? Come on. Yeah. All right. Can't push our luck with this. It's another 13. Now what did I just do? What magic did the Drago do? You see, or is it sense, the presence of a woman. The woman who hovered over Gale's palm. There's something like the anticipation of a kiss. Then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace. You are safe. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. We could do like a Theodore Rex <laughs> prequel. You did it. You're channeling the weave. How does it feel? Effortless. You're a wonderful teacher. Handshake. Ooh, Good night. The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. A satisfying end to a wondrous experience. It's time to let go. D I mean, I'm not really... Gale, I'm... I'm flattered, but... The way that you're staring into my eyes... I don't think I can wake up to that every morning. It's time to let go. The weave evaporates. And as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome. 
I mean, I'm finding out that all magic oh. users are basically like there it goes. getting off on mommy no vibes, basically. <laughs> no matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night. I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. Look, man. I'm flattered. I'm not gonna let you puff my magic dragon, okay? I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all, honestly, halson has got a better well shot. Deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. Complicated? The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. Finally, we're catching up on our puppet master, and the hunt ends at Moonrise Towers. I hear that. What's so dangerous about it? To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse New Jersey. everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings. Tormented. Dangerous souls. Uh, whoops, whoops. Well, sounds like I've got no choice. I need to find a way through. You're half right. You have to get to Moonrise, but you still have a choice of how to get there. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorn built a secret stronghold deep down there before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Well, that sounds Aradin like a place to stop by then. For a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Uh, so how do I find this underground route? You'll need to pick it up where Aradin left off. Find the hidden entrance. Because really the, the best answer is to go to there. both places. Well, sounds like the Underdark is a safer route. We'll go there first. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. Please do so. To return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. What about the Grove, though? I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. H who? Precisely. Who indeed? You do not know, and neither do any of the others. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This Wouldn't that make it even worse, though? Francesca. Like, couldn't she burn it all to the ground because none of this goes the for the draconic absence. teachings of an Oak Father that you don't follow? Won't this cause resentment? Resentment will spring up like mushrooms no matter what I do. You cannot please everyone, and you'd be a fool to try. I now, guess. we've quite the journey ahead. Best get started. Well, you heard the guy. So we gotta boot somebody out of our group if you want to bring Halson in. Part of me thinks Shadowheart, but Shadowheart's about to go do some underground stuff with us. Part of me thinks Gale. In fact, I'm kind of thinking that right now. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. 
I think I'm gonna kick Gale out. I mean, not out. He'll he'll still be at camp. But unlike uh, Baldur's Gate one and two, we need to where you can have like five or six party members. Here you can only have like three at a time for a total of four. So we'll trade Gale out here. Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fighted to dine with a devil. <laughs> it's 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 something, I guess. You have a strange definition of flattery. Believe me, that was a devil's equivalent of serenades and roses. Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us. Badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. So you really think that the devil really wants... Like, hmm... I think he thinks that we're desperate, but we're not desperate, not yet at least, but he's going to play the waiting game, I suppose. But what is it that this devil wants so very badly? Our souls. But well I suspect duh. that's but his opening offer. Let me play the devil's advocate. Ha ha ha. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. But if there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. And how do you propose we beat a devil at his own game? By figuring out his true intentions. Fact one, there's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Yeah. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Probably because devils he wants the tadpole. Aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. Right, so we'll say, please help us, Mr. Devil, and then he'll be like, sure, he'll pop our head open like Wait. a pet dispenser, take out the tadpole, right. and leave us for dead, Raphael and take our souls to boot. Again, and when he does, so, no! No! No, 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 Remember his no! Remember his Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. No, we're the mouse that gets out of the house and into the field where there are no cats. Just everything else, but Gail, you're out of the party. How can I help? You can help by not. I need you to remain on the camp for a while rather than on the road with me. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. Perhaps we'll travel again later. I don't know. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Why don't you go jerk off to your uh, mistress, Miss uh, Mistra, or whatever? I don't know. Get those dummy mommy vibes you've been waiting for. All right. Now that he's out, we can bring Halson in. Oakfather's blessings to you. Uh, uh, how are you faring out here at the camp? Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books. But I can find all the wisdom they contain out here firsthand. So, can I not put him into my party right now, or...? Well... I, I may have come over too strong, perhaps. Got caught up in the moment before. There are few things that are too strong for me. And cast those regrets aside. You did not get caught up in the moment. You seized it. In other circumstances, I would have done the same. But you would have done the same? Perhaps. But best to not dwell on nights past. There are plenty more yet to come. Join my party, dumbass. Why do you want to go to Moonrise Towers? Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thormund his dark justicias years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps yes, I can do lift join this me. curse just as you find a cure for your infection. Yeah. So is he just not going to join me yet, or... Ugh. 
fine. Gail, you're back in the party. Go ahead. I'm listening. Join me. All right. Well, we've wasted enough time here. Let's get going. Yes, Shadowheart? All these telltale signs of Dark Justicius that we've been seeing. I'm having a hard time believing they're a coincidence. Coincidence is more common than destiny in my experience. Don't get your hopes up. Still, there may be more to it. I need to keep alert, in case that suspicion amounts to anything. Could be nothing, all the same. Lands like these must have seen all sorts throughout the years. Still, there may be more to it. I need to keep alert, in case that suspicion amounts to anything. Yeah, I thought I could add him as a party member. Huh. It might be the fact that I'm level 4 and uh, Halston is level 5. So maybe he won't join me until I'm strong enough. So uh, the game doesn't have to dumb him down for my sake. Okay. Where to now? Seems like we can head to the goblin camp for traveling through the Underdark or reaching the mountain pass. Now again, the Underdark is, uh, like, you, you can go to both places if you're looking for a, uh, complete experience. And I think it's, I think it's good to, to have both. So I think it's, it's better to go through the Underdark first, because there's a lot of pretty tough enemies down there. We have to get a little creative, but it's going to get us a lot of experience, I think. While we're here, why not do a little bit of exploring in the forest before we dive underground? What are you guys doing? You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. Uh, yes. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. I don't want to waste it on these people. Uh, his wounds look deep. I might be able to help. Let's see if I can help. Hmm. I can help. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do, I'm watching you. The injured right. man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Hold his stare. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andric and Brenna. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. I. I. Quit. Oh, too bad. Edwin. Ed. Please. He's with the absolute now. You're. You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Okay, uh... Why are you out here? The wilderness is dangerous. We know that all too well, sir, but... The Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. You know what? I'm a survivor of that crash. Looks like you found me! You! Uh, Brenna! Kill him! You're gonna soon realize that was a big mistake, especially when my man Asterion is gonna probably, like, assassinate you right off the fucking bat. <laughs> Sorry about your luck, hon. Can't even catch my breath. 
So yeah, I could, like, maybe I could, like, non-lethal him. Try and be like a monk in all this. See how this works? Uh, he's not going to feel the same way, apparently. Ray of Frost him. Hope he lives. Or he could miss. That's fine, too, Gale. That's good. That's good. All right, you do what he did then. You're gonna you're gonna miss it too. That's fine. How was that two hits? You hit him twice. Good job. We had an acid vial, some chain mail. She had a mace, uh, and he had a whole bunch of meat. Yoink, yum, delicious. All right. Let's travel a little further down this path. Try and fill out more of this map here. Like what's this cave over here? This seems like oh, something. Tracks. Its nest must be nearby. Oh, owl bears! Great. Hey, man. You know, I t I tried to help them. I was honest with them, and then they turned on me immediately. So I t that stench, dead owl bear prey, no doubt. Well, there's owl bears over here. That's for sure. Oh, you can probably turn off none of the damage now. There. Oh, hey there, guys. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. We need to leave. Let's see if we can study its behavior. Oh, jeez. Uh, this won't go well. Ooh, it did go well! Ooh, it went very well! The owlbear's one good eye flicks away for a moment. You follow its glance. Oh, what adorable an little baby cub. cub. All right. The owlbear stares, then sharply inhales your scent. I'm it not gonna back, do nothing. Its eyes still fixed on you. A silent ultimatum. You can leave now, or step closer. And die. Well, Zealous Star being a man of nature, I don't think that he's going to argue with an owlbear anytime soon. Good call. Anywhere else I can look up in here? Huh? See a chest over there, but. I think I'd have to go around and hurt its baby or whatever, but don't think I can really jump down there either. You know what? Not worth the risk. Let's just get out of here, guys. Although, can I just like hang out here? Is this safe? A stinking cave. Hardly a place of honor, even for the likes of her. I mean, you know, people have, you know, There's whatever they want here. keeping this chest sealed. I can feel its aura. All right, so what do we have here? We got a whole bunch of stuff, it seems. Detect thoughts. Some incense. A gilded chest. I think we can open. This thing won't yield its contents easily. Ow! Didn't think it would shoot me like that. Animal speaking? Huh. Could I potentially talk to this beast then? Hmm. Hmm. 
And I already kind of ruffled its feathers. There's a chance that it'll instantly attack me as soon as I talk to it. Fuck it. I'm not going to get this chance again. Quick save in, th in case things turn sour. Where is that potion? Animal speaking. Gulp. So I, 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 I guess I can talk to animals now. All right, let's let's talk, buddy. Let's let's parlay one more time, yeah. I warned you, soft meat. You don't listen. Shit. Oh man. See, I didn't want to do that though. Oh, what I should have done is I should have... I should have got the potion first and then talked to her. I would have had a lot more to say then. But it's so cool I can talk to the owlbear, though! Like, maybe I just got too close. Perhaps I could, like, call her from afar and... Nah, she's just gonna aggro me as soon as I lay eyes on her again. Oh well. But we got a potion of speak to animals, so we could do that again if we wanted to. We could try that for the next owlbear we meet, or whatever hideous creature. I guess that marks our first actual save scum, but yeah, that was that was that was science, as all that was. That was just science. But on the lookout for a specific party member that we really should have ran into by now. Like the three times that I played the that I played this opening, I got her in the first like playthrough base, like the first hour. And the fact that we haven't seen her yet is mildly concerning to me. Maybe she'll turn up later, who knows. Maybe I'm just not looking hard enough. Also, who knows. I just saw that cracked rock, and I think that might be a great place to start. Or at least try next. Fish? I'll take a fish. Can I fish? Huh. Let's try that out at some point. Ugh. Hi, boy. Okay, I got this. Doggo wants to talk to me. We'll talk. Talk to him. Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. What happened here? I told you to go. I'm not an enemy, I promise. He's not going to believe me. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Puppy dog hates me now. These worlds crawl with monsters. You could be one of them. Could I peer at his collar? The roll of ten, right? That's easy, right? Yeah, that's fine. What's your name, buddy? Dirty 20? Yeah? What do you got? You see a name etched into the leather. Scratch. Scratch. You're Scratch, aren't you? Come here, it's all right. You know my name. Interesting. A predator wouldn't care to learn it. 
Like I, I know Still, I look the parts, being a dragon and all. That, I, I get, My I get that. My friend is injured. He needs rest. It's noble to protect one of your clan, but he's gone. He's not my clan. He's my friend. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. What happened to your friend exactly? We were attacked. we cackling furry things on two legs. And their smell, it was strange, rotten, evil. Furry things? You know the creatures he describes. Knolls. Ah. Uh, come on. You can travel with me if you like. No. I won't leave him. If he doesn't wake up, follow my scent. I have a camp. If it comes to that, I may. Yeah, yeah, see? These guys get it. Thank you. Why can't you get that, Asterion? Why don't you get some fucking humanity in your... Oh, vampire. Right. Sorry, buddy. Okay, well... I guess we can now talk to animals until we have a long rest. That's 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 that, that's kind of cool. I guess we can find some animals to talk to. If it helps. I'm gonna have to find another one of those. Figure out how to brew them, I guess. Man, am I gonna have to learn alchemy for this? Ah, damn it. Uh, all right. Well, let's just make our way to the blighted village then. You know, I bet now'd be a great time to talk to that strange ox. Are we on the wrong ass way? Yes, we are. Ah, uh, so let's go. Could we talk to a fish? And if we could, what could he say? It's like, hello, don't catch me. Don't eat me. Can I go back in the water now? Thank you. Oh, you got something to say? Oh, Gale. My condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. <sighs> okay, what do you got? Got something here that we don't need. All right. Uh, what's this dagger here? The, the Watcher's Guide. That's a spear, basically. Yeah, no one's using spears. Take it. Thank you. It is a strange experience. Each time anew, I can Lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. You said a bunch of words there, buddy. Had the effect of the first. Somewhat relieved the discomfort, but I fear my hunger hasn't quite. Ah. Yeah, you all right? Anything I can do to help you? You do plenty for me, more than you realize. But this cannot be remedied. <clears throat> the magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire and merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle, the fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was too. So cool. We wasted an artifact and it didn't even work all that great. That's nice, I guess. Cool, Gale. As long as you're still okay for the time being. Okay. Well. Well. Oh, they play hopscotch. Haven't seen that game in years. How about that? Some nice world building. Lovely. All right, where can we go next? So we'll try and just, again, clear out more of the map. See sights unseen that we haven't seen yet, or have yet to see. 
Oh, jeez. Cannon's handkerchief? Hmm. What's that? What do we got here? Aha! Big old boy. We've got gold, Tasha's hideous laughter, invisibility, and feather fall. Not bad. I imagine there's too much else here that we need to explore. Although, where does this path lead? Hmm. You're talking about the Demon Souls world competencies or whatever. It, it's what, whatever they're called, white world expectancies. I have no idea how they work either. If you want to keep your insides on the inside, don't cause any trouble. Pal, I think I've killed everyone in your village so far. I don't. I don't think you can threaten me any more than you think you, you know, think you are. All right. I haven't really played much of it because, you know, it it, it, it it feels very, I guess, old, to say the least. I guess what I mean is that it, it uh... Oh, I guess there's a goblin we missed. Let's move. I guess, like, uh... There were uh, improvements they made upon Demon Souls in Dark Souls, and it just got better from there. Yeah, the, the design got tighter. The level, de the level designs got a lot smarter. Yeah, no one's gonna help you, man. I haven't played much of the Demon Souls remake myself. It's just a matter of getting back into it, but then again, there's always Elden Ring, so. Alright, they're too far away for me to do anything uh, effective. Haha! Ah. -ha! Alright, looks like the melee dudes are gonna come up and have a word with me here. Got to press on. Alright, Shadowheart! Hit the guy you can you might be actually able to hit. Ooh, even a crit! You're making up from last week. Very well done. And now the big wargs are coming here to say something nice. Alright, what can you do? Anything cool here? Well, I mean. Hmm. Let's get a little creative. We're one of those. One of them's prone. Can't really do much there. Where do I go from here? Then maybe I can like make my way over here and like can't really do anything fire like, can I? I mean I got a fire arrow. Yeah? 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 Ah! <laughs> yes. I love it. Lovely little uh, medley you played there for us, but I don't think anybody heard it. All right, let's put some uh, cold frost upon those burn wounds. Yeah, that's nice. Deflect missile and throw it back. Ha ha! God. All right. Let's kill this thing. Please. Good job. Then it has a stand up. Takes more damage from the fire there. And it can't even add uh, miss Shadow Heart. All right. Can we sneak attack this guy? Cool. Well done. No choice but to keep going. These boots. Move ahead, Zell Star. 
Seeing some more dudes coming in. I guess there are more people than I thought. Less now. Then I will catch that. Then I will throw it back. Hey, hey. It shall be done. All right, Ray of Frost. I don't think will reach. Would have reached him, but he's dead. Need to stay wait there. Shadow Heart, come over here. Wait there. Asterion, come over here. Can't sneak attack these guys. They're too far away, right? Of course. Everybody too far away. They just out of reach. Except you. Too bad. Sometimes the only way out is through. All right. Time to press ahead. Let's come up here. Do a range attack. Shoot this guy in the face. Kill him? <laughs> Definitely not kill him. I played Dragon Age 1 and then Dragon Age 3 before I played Dragon Age 2 because I heard it was just so bad. And it was just How okay. How smart. Dragon Age 2 was. I didn't think it was like awful or anything. But I love 3 though. Dragon Age Inquisition was fantastic. About to say, you're gonna bang the drum again? E everybody's dead, dude. Nobody's gonna help you. Alright, die. Or just miss. Yeah, that's, that's that's fine. You had no you had no business hitting that, uh, Shadowheart. Not your fault, not your fault. There we go. Nothing important is ever easy. And one more dork over here, which I don't think I can even wait maybe I can. Range attack. Well, that'll work. And he put the armor back on. And he's gonna get it back up there and probably take another couple of pot shots at me. Or not. Alright, Gale. Use that cantrip and take him out! Alright, Shadow Heart, take that fire bolt and take him out! There you go. There you go. Well done. Let's see what he was holding. Oh, did he fall? Ah, he fell. Wait, no, he didn't. He's hanging on the edge here. You had a hand axe, that's all. And you goblins have the worst loot. Alright. Could head north. Let's just peek south here just a little bit. It's all just a loop around into some kind of tunnel here. A little bit muddy. Step carefully. Fucking traps. There's a trap. Oh, I see how it is. Huh. One of you guys are gonna place is fall tricky. into this fucking hole. Yeah, I'm not risking it. I can't trust any of you guys. Well, you already blew that one up. Get back over here. We are absolutely not going this way. You guys are going to get yourselves killed. Yeah, look at that big hole. I don't freaking think so. They haven't found any joke weapons so far. Oh, wait. It's up north we want to go, I think. This does this way doesn't lead anywhere, does it? Nope, it's just the mountain pass, which is not where I want to go. Oh, this terrain. Ugh. Well, I guess I'll we'll make our way to the to the temple. 
head into the under the under deep, I suppose. Under dark. Yeah, that's it. Everybody in this camp's still dead. Oh yeah, hella dead. Where do they want us to go? Well... I guess that's what they expect us to find out then. They've had some way to get to the Underdark. There's places we haven't totally explored here. I intend to find some. After all, there can't be anybody left here, right? Except maybe that guy, but, uh, well, he ain't going anywhere. Have we made our way through here yet? Aha! Uh -huh. Use the priestess's key. This is looking promising. Uh, going into her quarters! Yeah, I do like how the enemies, like, don't respawn or whatever. Oh. Hello. You don't have permission to be here. You're about to be ejected. Die. How big a, how big a person are you? F level 4, 52? We can... That'll be easy between the four of us, especially if this one's gonna hit really good. Yeah, that's good. Still on my feet. All right. Best be on my way. You, Zell. Get to hitting. Well, you should be embarrassed. Let's end this. Got to move. All right, Shadowheart. As for you, fire bolt on this thing. Good job. Destroyer. Gale, we will throw bolts. Well. Yeah, witch bolts. Witch bolts good. This, this one constitutes a witch bolt, I'd say. Now keep it going. Don't slam me. Ow! So I'm not prone. Bitch. Oh, you missed. Asterion, please. I mean, it's a big, fat, angry goblin queen. Shouldn't be this hard to hit, right? I mean, come on. Good. Well done. Round of applause, everybody. A padlock key. Might already be used. Ooh, fuck oh. I feel like the padlock key was used to keep that, you know, that guy who was already there. It's been a long day. I need to rest soon. Oh, you're fine, Zell. You'll get a short rest here in a minute. Here in a minute, I, I swear. Well, you probably need it. Oh, off we go then. All right, you convinced me. What'd you guys find? Oh? Not a chance. I'll fit in there. Are we all too small to get in there? I haven't found a way to do with those uh, small holes there. Anything through here? Place I can see I can jump. Maybe, if I just... Alright, everyone can jump this far. Nothing else over here, is there? Well, that doesn't surprise me. Not the least. <laughs> All right, let's keep let's keep continuing on. Is this the warg den or the beast pen? No, still new area. 
What do we got here? Looks like all these moon plates can be turned. Ah, uh, okay. That's curious. It's one of these puzzles. Messing this up. Uh oh. Yep, I do believe I have fucked it. Let me see if I can fix it. Do that. Turn this one. Get that cleared up. Oh, you guys need to get out of my way for this one. Seriously. Camera need to cooperate with me too for this one, please. Please. Ugh! Turn this one. Okay, you know what? You guys need to come over here. Just wait here. I'll do it myself. Alright. Turn this one, so that's in the reserve. Turn this one, so that's in the reserve. Alright. I think these four black holes have to be in the center. If I'm not mistaken. I mean, this plaque should say so, right? If that is a plaque worth reading. Hmm. Oh, wait, I think I got it wrong. There's gotta be an end. Like, there's a clue around here somewhere, I'm sure. Uh... Alright. Alright, yeah, I think that these, uh, these four black circles need to be in the center. Or at least in, the, in this beam of light, I mean. Should be it. No! Do it right. Of course it goes a long way around. Yeah! Very far down. We'll have to go in to see the bottom. I got some inspiration! Hell yeah! Gale is inspired too! We all did great! Oh, geez. We're going down deep here. Such depth to the shadows. I don't care what others say about the Underdark. It's beautiful down here. I'm used to a crypt. It looks it looks fine. It looks it looks it looks pretty good. If you're a fan of darkness, I suppose. I guess it's you know, I've, I've seen worse. I've it, 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 it's it, it's fine, Shadowheart. It's fine. Oh, that looks like a big amino. Oh. 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 Ooh. Get back. More effort than a pit of spikes. Credit where it's due. Well, he got hella smoked. Should definitely stay away from there. Well, we have finally made it to the underdark. I'm going to go ahead and uh 
stop things here. Got a lot of work to do here, actually, so. Thanks for coming into the stream. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week to explore this very dangerous part of the first act of Baldur's Gate 3 with the adventures of Zelostar. We'll see you then.